I know Azure's been around a long time, uh, which is why we can talk about virtual editions, because we're going back to the BJ Army days 15 years ago. But I kind of don't know what people have been up to in the intervening time. that I kind of remember most people to come by still. has been playing around with VTubing because, yeah, somewhat preferable to showing face and also just uh, neat tech. What okay? Well, oh, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know what you're asking if it's okay, but uh, go ahead. Um, I mean. I don't, I don't know if she has a whole, she probably has a little bit of advice, it's really up to her, I'm not her boss, but you can ask, I don't know if she'll take the time, but uh, I don't know if she'll have the time, let's put it that way, she might at least be able to point you to a guide real quick. I know that uh, Mix Chris was also experimenting with VTubing, but I don't remember if they went to act if they actually committed to it or not. Well, I mean, by the committing, I meant for Mix Chris. For the committing, I meant like paying for a custom rigging and that can run three to four figures. Which K and H is just doing the free stuff at this point as well. That's not bad, that's not bad. Like I mean you can do it without paying the money, but when I but like I know that Chris was considering if they wanted to go green screen or if they wanted to go VTuber, because they both had a they both had similar costs of entry, and I think they decided to go green screen based on what I heard today. But they might also know something about entry level B2 and know they were going to do that. Sucks. Sucks because I lost my power up. Still got six days. Yeah. Oh man, I don't want this. I need something that's not a zigzag, please. I don't even need to do much. I just need to get that. Yeah, and I don't. Like, you don't even need to uh, have a cam to stream at all. I know plenty of people who don't. No people who do stream, no cam, no mic. And some people won't watch, but some people will if the game's interesting. Uh, the SMZs aren't bad in this, 
the zigzaggy shapes are actually really helpful a lot of the time because they combo more easily. Hey, Wyvern. Yeah, sorry. I, I didn't really follow up with games tonight because I didn't figure that we'd want to do a two-player. I'm more in the mood for a bigger game anyway, so it's just going to end up waiting a day. There we go. Probably depends what game you're doing. If you're, yeah, if you're doing like really intensive modern stuff, but like, oh, come on, huh, that piece just completely disintegrated from underneath me. If you're doing like, like, I did not read that correctly. That that one I can't even nail the game for. That was just me. It does mean I have to actually slow down a little bit right now. Okay. Now I just need to do this here. Right, that was not a great stage. Try to be fair and not always blame the game when things are definitely my fault. I only blame the game when things are probably my fault. I think that's a fair trade on Got three stages and a minute and a half. That's not ridiculous. Exactly. If I absolutely positively miss the note, then I'll take responsibility. And if if I put my finger on the note and it's clear that the issue is that it was an overlapping hitbox, then I won't blame the game. Because the game should handle the hitbox. Warning on TTS is I am the Euro guy. Um, I have one of my friends uh, and Wyvern's former roommate once said, "Oh, okay, that sucks. If that piece came out from under me again." Anyway, Wyvern's former roommate once said that I would play a game about shoveling poop around as long as the mechanics were good, and not wrong. I am the anti-theme guy. Okay, we're losing time on this split. Losing that power up in particular hurt. There we go. Disappointed that I did better yesterday. I was, yesterday was supposed to be the learning run. This was supposed to be the run where I actually started improving things. Maybe it, it's feeling like I'm just gonna be better at the other category. There we go. Ah, uh, have I ever heard of Book It? If you mean the program from Pizza Hut as a kid where I could read a book and get a free personal fan pizza, then very yes. Otherwise, probably not. But if your suggestion for tabletop sim day includes free personal pan pizzas, I am 100% on board.
Deck builder adjacent pro wrestling producer. Interesting. I've ac I actually played. I, d I did a prototype. Brain. So there was a point a while back when I was actually doing like amateur board game design. I still have some of my designs. Um. And one, but I was going to prototype events for board games, and I went and I play tested a. It was a wrestling based deck builder. Like, actually, the wrestlers, though. So that was kind of interesting. But I do tend to like deck builders. It's a bit of an oversaturated market at times. Okay. Um, I don't have anything I want to do with this. I need to get rid of it. I'm just trying to get this all out of here. Uh, they're not in a shape where I want to up upload them, unfortunately. Um, well, one of them, I think, is mostly done. Could probably use just some balance tweaks. The others are... Oh, man, they are rough. And I never... I just never really had... They are not, like, super elegant designs. They're kind of... They end up being a little bit convoluted. Right. Can I actually work with, like, any of these, like... At all. Nope. Not just flat out. I need this. this. Okay. It's just to play chess and run scared. Hundred and one other accounts, which I guess is a start towards playing Go in RuneScape. chapter feels like it might be going a little better. I'm not gonna say like amazing, but a little better. Yeah. Scholar's mate, at least that one you can pull off on somebody. There's a reason it's called a fool's mate, and that's because it only happens to somebody who's trying. Whereas the scholar's mate, you can actually pull off on somebody who's not paying attention. Much better made. I want to say the scholars made. I it's either three moves per person or four move or it's either five or seven. It's not quite three. There's only one way to get a check made on red second. No, he's just there. 
It's not a nasty habit, it's a necessary function. Better that you break them in the prototype phase than that they ship and get broken by regular players constantly. What's my problem? What is blocking me? Is it this corner? No. What in the heck is this one little... I'll undo that split in a moment. So, man, this, like, I was hoping I'd be able to save some time on these splits. I am not even close. That last one was particularly bad, so maybe we bite the bullet and we do one more reset. I want to see how far behind we are. Okay, so at episode 3, 310 is the first 4x4 four four size. I feel like this is the first chunk that's actually going well. Okay, that wasn't the power up I intended to have, but I'm hoping if I do this that should get enough to where I either just win, or at least I have access to some T blocks. Alright, so. How can this not be enough? How could. What could I possibly have been missing?
is not enough for what I do. I know how it goes, though. We are not anywhere close to the actual hard part of this game. This part's only hard because I'm trying to do it fast. Well, I mean, it's not, not like the game's too trivial. has found many an infinite loop. There, that was a very clean dig. cautious play, but it worked. Uh, have a good dinner, Wyvern. Catch you later. Here, here's where things actually stand the risk of getting spicy. Although it is a three shape party. It's definitely going to make the life just a little bit more difficult. We are dropping this because I don't see anywhere where I actually want to drop these and I need to drop two of them. There's a big goal. Problem is, of like how much time we lost leading up to it. If we can do well on this, I don't think we'll get second on this run. I don't think we're there yet, but steps. There we go. Let's go. 
go. Wasn't amazing, but it wasn't bad. You need to be a little faster than that, because that was a minute and a half. But that's also going to require that the ball be less terrible than what I'm getting. These Z's are actually pretty good. They're actually pretty efficient. They just, uh... One thing I was saying earlier is, like, these, the uh, pieces that don't, that aren't rectangular, the rectangular pieces have to have an entire edge touching to clear, and the pieces that aren't that just have to have one corner touching another corner. But the problem is that the pieces that are rectangular, or that are not rectangular, because of the reduced requirements in terms of touching, they they uh, tend to pop faster, which means you can get stuck in these massive droughts here, where there's no pieces you need, when you combine that with the game deciding it's time to give you five of them in a row makes the situation just a little bit stressed. There we go. Lost a little time on that one before that episode. What was it called? Box in one? I'm not sure what you're talking about. Oh, free. Ah. Uh. Uh, I don't think it's a thing anymore, but when I was a kid, Pizza Hut ran a program called Book It. And you, if you read a book and got a teacher to sign the slip, you got a free pizza as a kid, and then all the adults had to buy so much more pizza because they had to eat two, and that's how they made their money. Probably. Like I said, I don't think it's a thing anymore. Okay, six minutes? That puts us in position for as much as a two minute time save. Now, it's, of course, it's not free. Thank you. 
Stages in seven minutes. Slow this because we're gonna get another one right behind it. We'll probably save the other one for the next stage if we can avoid wasting it. That one was fast. It's going well. Hard to complain about this stage. It just looks like I set myself up with some really nasty early splits to run up against, but I get a little softer if this run succeeds. I suppose I actually didn't. Alright, can we get a good swap of stuff to do with this? Which I can't use. And get some actual grains to fix the mess here. Oh. You said you wanted a green. Here's six of them. That's a large one. Uh, 
I am sorry that I am insufficiently getting the specific get it of the get it. But I certainly see that a get it was attempted. And of that I am appreciative. Anyway, the specific type of piece that I'm griping about obviously just consistently changes every couple of seconds. What's my blocker? Maybe this? Oh boy. Bash that out. There we go. So that's that is not going to be second place for that category, but we do get a break. We cannot uh, prevent the uh, inverse Pepe Le Pew scene here, so we just have to uh, wait for it. So I'm gonna step back off camera just a little bit so you don't have to see my belly while I stretch. But we completed the first category. There's another category at 8 and a category at 10. And things just get worse from here. Here we go. This is the song. Can't jam in chat. Sour, please, if you're a little more of a traditionalist. Cat Jam, if you'd like to mix, mix it up. Okay, I don't even know where it's gonna take this. Cannot find it. Sour, please. Power Sleaze and Plower Seeds. About two minutes, but that was with the cutscene. Okay, that's not helpful. That. To be incompletely honest, that was very helpful. I don't think I've gotten an L drop yet. What I'm trying to do, but that's the thing I'm stuck on. Just trying to get these L's away. Now that I said I needed an L, I can have about 15 of them as a trade. Part of a tribute band is the name. Everything else is secondary.
take a little more time to look and see what's holding him in. <laughs> kind of waiting. Jimmy Fond World. pathetic Jimmy Eat World story. So I was at Summerfest, which is the big outdoor Milwaukee concert festival they do in the summer. It's like 10 days, 10 stages, 5,000 fans, or know, whatever. Anyway, I was there to see the, uh, the burnt out old punks you see on my t-shirt, who are, who are very old, but I would definitely not describe them as burnt out, actually. But, I was killing time, and I went over. I went over to the Jimmy Eat World stage. I saw the opening band over there, which wasn't terrible. Then I was like, okay, maybe I'll actually. Could, there's a couple of Jimmy Eat World songs that I kind of like. I'm just waiting for the band I want to see. So I might as well do it over here. And then I waited and waited and waited, and they were about an hour late, and I never got to hear any of their stuff before my actual show started on time. So well, that's the story. It's not much of a story. But I hope you enjoyed it anyway. The next time I have a story, it will be significantly worse. I also ran into a co-worker that I know decently well at that festival, which is honestly probably a lot less weird than it sounds, because it's, it's a big festival and all that, but it felt weird at the time. That we both chose to go on the same day and then just kind of bumped into each other. Alright, what is my problem? What is keeping this from being a 4x4? Because we are bleeding time, and we are having blocked pressure. We get even worse than that. There we go. Finally! Seven minutes. We're, la we're running a little bit behind. That last stage did not help matters. We'll drop. We'll Scotty D it up here in just a second. Yeah, now seems like a good time to do that aforementioned Scotty Ding. If anybody doesn't know what I mean, I'm sure Azure would be happy to explain. Yep, that is that is probably the best possible response.
that we are going to need some small amount of this. Nope, not quite. I thought we were done. We are not done. Almost. Just gotta get a couple more. Figure that on this side. But also, I am not going to be allowed to get the correct piece type here. There we go. That, that took forever. Yep. Okay, let's see if we can stay green on this. I think it's gonna be tough to do much better than that, but I think staying green is Somebody came up to me and said, you know, Phony is the best song ever produced on the N64 hardware. And go, I don't know if you're right, but I'm pretty sure you're not wrong. minute on this next stage, which is probably not enough to be green. I'm just going to drop this, because I'm going to have a little dynamite rave, a few more get it's just for good measure. Get it's never hurt anybody, except for all the people they hurt. Secretly the best Tetris piece. Tetris, in the popular conception, everybody thinks it's the eye. It is not the eye. Not 
too bad. And now we have to change songs to a slightly less good song. This is less of a cat jam and more of a JoJo, please. You follow retro at all. Episode 8 looks like it is a breather episode as well. And episode 9 is just absolute brute, and then episode 10 is honestly another breather episode, which shocked me. Episode 9. Top to bottom, episode 9 is the hardest episode. The last level of episode 10 is probably the single hardest level, but doesn't make it the hardest episode. Part of the game where the clock pressure actually starts to kick in. Which, if you watched me do any of the earlier speedrun here, there's no real clock pressure, and if you watched me do any of the hide and seek speedrun, there's also no real clock pressure there. But this speedrun, there is clock pressure. slightly staggered portions. That is like it's the hardest thing to try to go back in and correct. Okay, that's surprising. Nope, that's not sticking where I want it and we gotta be careful now. I tried to make up some time. This also means that clock pressure is now going to be very real and not just pretty real. There we go, let's get out of this stage. chunk of this is realizing when all you gotta do is pull the piece out of the way. Uh, Alright, where are we? 
like to do it be in a position where we can actually take advantage of all those zigzags next to each other. All the tiny zigzags we L's. We're gonna throw this down here and see if that covers any better disease to use. This is just a wasteland disease right here. Time, but we don't care, it doesn't matter. No. Drop here, drop there. Alright, what are we doing? What are we doing? We are going to throw that down there, and again, I just don't like being stuck with this piece. have some time to save on this one. Okay, oh, um, it's gonna kind of be dependent on how these squares turn out for us, though. Okay, uh, I, I do not have anywhere good to go with any of this. It's only one, we're okay. Oh, yep, okay. That wasn't ideal, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Remember, there's a category that ends at 8, and there's a category that ends at 10, which is the last.
intentionally setting up a larger combo. It takes just a little bit longer. That's a small guy, okay. Now I'm back down to two by twos. Okay, let's see. There we go. If I waited just a second, that would have been rough. Did. get a gold. Well, I shouldn't say gold. This is my second run, but it'll it'll be a gold. Any any time that it's a game is a gold. So saying it'll be a gold isn't exactly impressive here. So that isn't the block. Kind of fell into a very fortunate crevice. Very unfortunate crevice sounds like a really good album name. for the third set. We're at 156 and I feed I still need to save like eight minutes over the rest of the run to reach my goal on the 
full game run. You don't have to reach goal on the second attempt. Just a two by two. It's pretty slow though, looking at, especially looking at the kind of time I gotta turn in for this overall set. this episode I also get like a two minute break. Two minute unskippable cutscene. Yes, there's a cutscene in Tetris here. That could have been done 20 seconds ago if I had just had the right pieces that lined up with what was available on the ball. Dump one more here. Let's go. Let's go. Pace is okay.
Okay, that sucks because I kind of I panicked. I did I tried to set off the power up, but I hit the wrong button and set off the drop, which lost my power up. Here, the mistake I'm trying not to be making on this run. Nope, can't be. Slide over. Right. know that we're gonna gold this segment. Opinion at this point is that world is that episode nine is the hardest episode. not bad. Got what? Three minutes and there's three levels, two levels left in three minutes. That's not the worst place to be. Two minutes for this stage. Can we do it? Can we gain any more time?
submittable time hour 18 we got two episodes left but we have a mandatory cutscene so I'm gonna again roll off camera hydrate and stretch no we cannot skip this okay so I'm three and a half minutes ahead uh, I need to meet my goal. I need to save another, even save more than eight minutes in the last two episodes. It seems unlikely for this run. Especially like my pro one of my problems is those beginning times. I'm having trouble keeping up with them. Are you getting the cutscene? This only gets worse the longer it runs. And it runs at about an N64 frame rate. <laughs> Like never did actually fall. Anyway, yeah, two minutes. When do we get control back? About two minutes, and we can do some mashing here. But the game it's still like 2:22 before the game begins. It made my life much less miserable than it otherwise would have been. too bad so far.
saving a lot. I feel like we're gonna save a lot of time in this chapter the way it's been going. Um, except for that. that too early and it was actually on a legitimately a position that legitimately able to work I just didn't wait long enough and that caused me to have, it caused me to fire my rocket when I probably should have held on to it for later for the next stage but if I didn't make the mistakes I would have been holding on to that a little bit longer Make a takaku takaku joke, but that rocket actually went kikuku kikuku. It's the opposite of takaku takaku. Obviously, we are still doing this. Because I've lost control of my life. There we go. That said, this, this chapter is going really fast. We lost, we're only really five minutes into it because there were two minutes of dead cutscene time. Thanks for the follow. Welcome in. We are doing some nasty block games. <laughs> We're in the hard part, and it is really difficult. Um, nope. Please don't die. Please don't die. Ah, whew. Okay, I can look at chat now. Yeah, thanks for the follow. We're actually on pretty good pace, though. I'm happy with how this is going, but man, once you at episode 8, this game just kicks your butt. And it doesn't back off. 
actually, this is a little bit of a reprieve at the beginning of chapter 10. It does get a little bit easier. Getting to the point where I'm having trouble finding anything good to do. Let's drop the dynamite, that'll help. Give me a little bit of a little bit of breathing room. Nope, not really. Time's still yellow. It's still uh still killing. This is a very complicated game, and I generally don't have the time to explain all the mechanics, but I gotta clear out the bright glowy pieces or the ball will bop me in the face and I will make a missed drop. I only get three of those. To win, I gotta get this guy out of the middle. There. I just was gonna let that one auto drop. I have not, not only do I have red time, I have like a completely empty clock so I'm not even close to repairing myself into yellow time. There we go. Woo! It's getting rough. This is definitely a harder speed run than the uh, than the other category I was running, which was hide and seek. The first three chapters. If I did all five chapters, that would be harder than this, though. But that's also a three-hour speed run. Let's four-hour speed run. I'm sorry, and let's not. I have a certain tolerance, and that kind of exceeds it. Alright. Drop that. Let's go. Let's go. this out a little bit more than it is, so that we can actually get down to the bottom where we actually want to start doing stuff. Alright. Saving that dynamite for the next level at this point. Because we are in distinct time pressure right now. Woo! Okay. Two more in this. Got five minutes to get there to keep to keep ahead of pace. Right. Oh, I should have dropped that in there. That. I think I'm actually gonna try to store my power up through this because this has all of the easy pieces. All of these pieces make combos better than the square than the rectangles. The rectangles are the hard pieces to make combos with. Every single one of these, though, is much more generous about combos. That's me. Using an L there as my wild card was not a good choice, because it turns out that I actually had a whole lot of L's coming up on the stack. Alright, we're getting down to the bottom. Fine, but not what I expected. I like the way this is shaping up, to be honest. Put this here. Are we out already? That was fast! And we got this bomb going into the next one. So we just gotta get through this first drop. The number 
number one thing at this stage is do not panic and find something. It doesn't have to be the optimal move, but you need to find a move. It needs to be quick. Probably gonna need to do a 4 by 4 here. Big goal, big goal. We still need to save three minutes on this episode to hit my goal, and that seems unlikely, but let's give it a shot. Whew, okay. The beginning of this is actually a little easier than what we've been doing. It ramps back up, but it does give us a little bit of a breather. Drop that and dig a little more of a hole. So at this point, we have just... We're back down to two shapes, which is very helpful. And he's small again, so we only need to dig out a 2x2. Two two. It's just the ball is really deep. Two shapes thing. Man, that makes it so much easier. Even with the, uh, you still have very high time pressure. But again, relative num decrease in shapes just makes things so much easier. Here and we're good. Let's go. We gotta save time on these easy ones while we have it. Okay, so now it's back to three shapes on the ball, which again. Uh, all right, we are hit feet. So let's get this drop as soon as we can. Power up. All right. Round. We got it. Let's go. Doing better than a minute a stage. That's pretty good. It doesn't mean it will keep up as they again start getting harder. Yeah, this ball is as big as the game will get it because of the early drops. You can see after I dropped it, it was giving me the X's, meaning if you drop it any higher, it will automatically give you a strike. So when they pick it. They always put the ball so that you have one level. They never like make you start by making a gravity combo or something absurd like that. Already down to red time. This has been a bit of a struggle to get started. That works. That but yeah, see I can't drop at that point. Only the glow pieces can get extracted and move up a step. Everything else can only go downward. And the glow. When you make combos, the gl uh, these little ball, these little uh, starbursts rain down on the ball, and that's what makes the glow pieces. 
the glow pieces have like three three special things about them and every single one of them is very important to the game. I don't need this many teams. Okay, I should not have put that on the L's because that was another mistake on my part. It's like I didn't look far enough ahead of my piece preview to know that to notice that I did not need it. Had more coming up. A little hesitant to use a power up on this because again, these are the nicest piece types to work with. But I just, but you know, you'd rather use the power up than make a miss drop and lose it. We gotta be careful now one more and we start the whole level over, which is very detrimental to the entire idea of the speedrun. Let's see here. This is gonna be very difficult. There we go. Alright, that one was tricky. But we're still on a really good pace. Definitely gives you a little bit of a break when you enter World 10, but it does pick it back up. It's almost like a Tetris Grandmaster thing where you know, TGM has that little reprieve it likes to give you half foot or a third of the way through the game. Give me another rocket. Bring this down here. Another rocket. A little bit concerned about where I need to fire another rocket hit. And then this here is with the way these teeth are looking. Yes. I can make, I can keep 
keep it blue, but in practice, it's turning yellow in about a quarter second. Right, so now the decision I have to make is which way is the best way to go dig out what I need to dig out. It feels like downward here is going to be the thing that gets me the most to the thing that I'm going to do. That. And some L pieces. This. Uh, with. Alright, I at least have another shot at this and with more time at like that. Okay, now that was silly misdrop on my part. And it puts the pressure back on me to not make another mistake. I think all I have to do is get rid of this one. Hopeful, yes. Okay. Whew! Alright, I think we have three stages to go. I don't think we're going to save enough time for me to meet my goal yet. Alright, we are now up to four, four different colors on the ball, and... That is just incredibly difficult to deal with. If I was hunting down pieces all over the place before, it's going to be even more exaggerated. We only got three stages left. This is some of the hardest stuff this game has to offer. Alright, so. There we go. Yeah, that works. Right, we're gonna drop this a little bit to skew. to be efficient while I just fight to survive. Hell, what can I do with the hell? That part of the right over there. Okay. We're on and we have a rocket going into the next one. Back down to only three types, which I am very thankful for. Because four types is really difficult to do. All right, I'm new enough to this speed run, but this category in specific that I don't know exactly what's going to happen in any given time. Get that one extra drop after I fire the rocket because we should be able to get a few more bricks out of the way in the process. There we go. No, that's not. There we go. Up we go. This comes down here. Just take advantage of this. Try to get rid of that. While the power up is going, the uh, clock stops. There we go, we barely made that, but we can now have. Thing with the other way, another way to stop the clock is to drop on these lightly colored ones, because those combos run slower, 
So slow running compost have a number of nice properties. But in this context, all we want out of it is to stop the timer from killing us. One more stage. Back to four. We are gonna fight. Okay, whatever we can. Want that power up. Take to get me that power up. Well, okay, I got the power up and then blocks fell via gravity and I lost it. So Yay. It's gonna probably be oh. Well now we're in trouble. It's not like we have to do a one credit clear. We're allowed to take a death, but it's not good. Type. And how many times in a row do we do the same piece catch? Way more than we deserve. That's it. We gotta. We're gonna lose time on this split now. Ugh. Okay. Come on. Ugh, it sucks. Uh -huh. Never PB by too much. Time pressure really ramps up in there, really. Alright. Hunting all over the place just for anything that will kind of sort of work because I just can't find stuff. Let's throw this down. One thing I need to get better at is going and finding more stuff to do while I wait for the combo to clear. That were, for some reason I thought this thing that was wild, if it were wild I wouldn't have gone out chasing a specific piece type. So. This. Alright, let's see, can we... read that but we have two drops to get. Quite. Kind 
sort of see under there now, at least. So what I need is this brain. 